Yeah, we've got enough time, I think, for this. So everyone, go ahead and follow along. We'll start playing around with Redel. You should have Ubuntu. It'll either already be running on your system, or if it's not currently running, you should be able to find VM or Workstation on your desktop. And just double click on that. Once you're in VMware, there should be basically only one VM that you have op the option to start up. We call it Ubuntu 64-bit 2. And so if you suspended it, unsuspend it by pressing play, if it was already suspended, you know, resume the virtual machine, whichever. You should get to the login screen, and then the user is user, and the password is awesome password for the win. Once you get into your VM, open the terminal that's on your desktop. From your desktop, cd to code, cd code slash hello. Press return. And then the first command we're going to do is read out dash h and hello. And you can press return on that. I'm just going to leave that up there for a bit. What you're going to see is this header structure that I just talked about on the slide. We've got things like the elf at the beginning. We've got the entry point, which is where the code starts. Right, so there's the magic at the beginning. We've got the type, which is saying exec here. So it's an executable file. We've got the entry point address. This is the absolute virtual address where this thing is going to start executing code. We've got the start of the sec program headers. So that's 64 bytes into the file. And we've got the start of the section header. So this is kind of why in my pictures I showed program headers right at the beginning, and the section headers are kind of tacked on to the end. They don't necessarily have to be there. You can chop them off, and the program will run just fine. So they're kind of optional stuff that's tacked on to the end. All right, and size of this header, size of itself. Size of the program header is 56 bytes. That's appropriate for a 64-bit binary. And size of the section header is 64 bytes. Again, that would be appropriate size for 64-bit. If we had 32-bit binaries, we would small, see smaller things there. And then last thing, section header string table index. So I said there's one particular section header that's special, and it gets mentioned way up here in the ELF header. It's index 28 in this particular binary is going to be the string table. It's just going to be a big array of strings and other things will reference into that string table. All right, everybody tracks with that? Any questions? All right, cool. On we go. So this is just kind of a, uh, a picture of breaking down uh, the, the thing on disk versus in memory. The EPH off, that's going to point you where the program headers start, and there's going to be an array of program headers. So there's many program headers all in an array here. All right? How many are there? There's EPH num, numbers in, of program headers in that array. All right? Down somewhere else, there's the section headers. That's going to be another array. And we're going to have ESH num worth of those section headers down somewhere else. And then there's our one little special section header, which is the string table section. And we'll have the index for that particular string table. All right, so that's how the things we care about in the ELF header point into the various places in the file overall. And I'm not doing anything with this in memory things. Oh, and the entry point is going to be somewhere in the code that's saying that's where it should actually start. Okay. 